All right, guys. Let's look a little bit at the Christmas tree. Take a look here. Since we don't share a lot of it, I thought you, some of you might enjoy looking at the different ornaments. I sure do love looking at ornaments on Christmas trees. I think it's so much fun. These sea-like ones are memorial ornaments for Jackie's um, dad. You'll see a few of those on here. We have one for every year that he's been passed away. And there we are, just a little bit of little bit of everything going on here. The tree is a uh, dead. <laughs> Definitely did not keep up with the watering very well. Um, I think it was dead from the get go, but but that's okay. Actually, yeah, they cut it, so it was already dying. You know, it is what it is. Christmas is almost here, and it still looks green. We got a Christmas card from Linda Deskins. Thank you so much, Linda. You guys can find her channel by just putting in Linda Deskins. She's always in our premieres or lives when we have them. And let's see, she sent us a, oh my gosh. It's a handmade card, how cute is that? So it's red background and then it's over like a tan, which kind of looks like wood. And then it would be like, let's just say like a, a photo is hanging on a red wall. It looks really cool. You've got a tree and then a deer. So cute. It says Merry Christmas. And then it says, praying you have a blessed holiday season. Merry Christmas, Stephanie, Jackie, Tambry, and Tambry. Hang in there. Love, Linda Deskins. <gasps> this is so cute, Linda. And if you made this, this is beautiful. You know how we love handmade cards. That is just so beautiful. Thank you. So, I wanted to show you guys Baltic Baby's website now has an English version. And here's Leaf. He's on sale for 6.99 euros, which I believe is $740, what she told me. So, when you go there, it's going to be in their language. You just click here on this flag and it makes it in English and then back to their language Germany German because they're in Germany and there we go okay so there's leaf here's my finished version of leaf Ooh, so cute and um he will be staying here in the collection because in January, we're going to be doing, a, like I said, a, a mini film for uh, a reporter out of the UK. I'm really excited about this. And then also, I need babies for my collection as well, um, so I can make videos for you guys. And I am in love with Leaf. And of course, we cannot keep his name Leaf, because I've already had a Leaf in my collection. But we want to find him a name, and we're thinking in the E's. I have suggested Ezra. Jackie suggested Ethan, but I think we've already had an Ethan. So we're gonna look for baby boy names starting uh, E. We want E. We're gonna see what we can find. We thought we'd bring you guys along here to see. Let's just look at the first list. I never really look at the first list, actually. We've got Elijah, I've had an Elijah, um, Emmanuel. Eric, Enzo, Emmett, Eli Emerson, Edison, hmm, Elliot, Everett, Easton. Elliot is cute. Elliot. Elliot is cute. I don't think I've had an Elliot before. I like Edison as well. No, wait. Was it Edison? Yeah, I think it was Edison. If not, then I decided that I like Edison. Let's see over here what this name list has. So, Evan. See, here's Ezra. Um, Elliot. You like Elliot. We've got Edgar here. Eugene. Oh, Eugene is so Eugene cute. Eugene is cute. Actually, he might make a cute Eugene. 
definitely not had a Eugene. <laughs> so Eugene Esteban. That's too Spanish for you. <laughs> We've had an Edwin. Easton. I know I've had an Easton. Edison. Son of Edward. Emiliano. Edison just reminds me of the power company. Oh, yeah. Energy company in Southern California. You have Elvin. <laughs> Let's see. Eddie. Ellison. It's almost like Allison. Elton. Evander, like lavender, kind of. Ever. <laughs> ever. Ever. Ever and ever. Ever and ever. Elwood. Mm. Kind of reminds me of um, Legally Blonde. Elwood. Yeah. <laughs> I think I like... Eugene. Yeah, I think Eugene is a good one. I think Eugene fits for him. He looks like a Eugene. Means well-born and noble. Yeah. Oh! That's it. We've come together, Eugene. Yay! Welcome, Eugene. Woo! <laughs> All right. We've got him a name, Eugene. Now, let's get Henley changed. I don't know if she'll get changed again before Christmas because it's coming so fast. But we're going to put on this vintage outfit. It is so cute. It's like um, overalls that are red quilted with white polka dots. And then it has... Um, the white, no, what is that? It's like, uh, it's not a lace, but anyways, it's a trim and then it's got the eyelet designs on there, but it's really cute. And then it's got the little embroidered roses in the chest. Totally looks like an eighties thing. I don't know if there's a year on here. I think it is an eighties though. It was really cute. And then it has a long white sleeve t-shirt. Oh, and then on there, it actually has little white polka dots. You can see them there. So we're going to put that on her. And if she gets changed before Christmas, she does. But if not, this is the outfit I think I would enjoy to see her in for the rest of the season. I think she's going to look so freaking cute in it. It is so adorable. She just, she's been wearing tons of red. We have managed to keep her in. Christmas themed things this year. They're not themed. They're definitely colored. So, we're doing a good job, aren't we, Miss Henley? Yes, we are. After getting the polyfill um, beads, or poly pellets, sorry, not polyfill, I redid her legs, so she has them in her legs as well. So, she's got them right here. And then polyfill and polyfill right here. And I love it. And then the same in her arms. I love how it turned out. I'm so glad I decided to redo her uh, stuffing and her limbs. But it was quite the mess. Beads were going everywhere. So those beads, I swear, they just get everywhere. I even have a container to catch them. But, you know, their purpose in life is to just make a mess. I have a feeling they're just like, we're born to make a mess. That's what I'm thinking. All right, look at how cute she looks in just her top. That top is so adorable. Oh, there's a little hole in it. That sucks. I didn't even notice that. Oh, well, at least you can't really see it. It's still super cute. Now let's put on, if this is a real baby, the, that feels like it would be itchy. Let me tell you what. It feels kind of like polyester. So it definitely would not be putting these on a real baby without some leggings under them or something. Or they're going to be a grouchy baby because they're all itchy. Oh my, how cute. She's looking super cute in this. All right, let's get her buttoned up here. We've got two buttons on the back. That we have to do. I think I'm going to cross it over. I'm pretty sure that'll work. Crossing it over. Do I not? It looks so cute. I think it looks really cute crossed over in the back. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at you. Cuteness. Total cuteness. 
Look at that outfit. She is so cute. Oh, I love it. There she is, give you guys a better view. I need to get some little shoes. I brought these little um, Hello Kitty shoes I thought I would put on with her, with it, because the white shoes I have, I thought her feet would be too big, but now looking at her feet, I don't think they're gonna be too big. I have some little white Mary Janes. So I'm actually gonna put those on her because they'll look super cute. So there's Henley, she's in the crib today. We've taken out her brother, which we're gonna formally introduce you guys to her brother. I was standing here like looking at stuff like, who is her brother? <laughs> <laughs> well, after, right after this clip, I mean, <laughs> right before this clip. Oh, you're talking to the camera? Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> I didn't know you, I thought you were talking to me and I was like, okay. So. All right. Where do you want me to go? Oh, over here, because I wanted to show me holding. Here he is. This is Eugene. Hello, Hi, Eugene. Eugene. We decided. Welcome to the family. Yeah, Jackie really liked Eugene. I, I mean, I have to say, it's a cute name. Definitely not the one I would have picked, but it's okay. So it fits him very well. So Eugene, and then she's going to be rooting him with like a chocolate brown hair. Yeah, I didn't know you wanted to say tell no. them already, but no, yeah, yeah so I'm like, brown I thought hair. we were keeping it a surprise, but no, yeah, because he's got to get rooted for our little mini video. No, I know, movie. but I meant like a surprise until then, until oh, no. he's done been being oh. rooted. Oh, yeah, no, I don't know, <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys just like how he looks holding. He is a heavy baby, I still have yet to weigh him. I need to figure out his weight because boy, he's a heavy guy. Or did we weigh him? But he's nice to hold. Mm -hmm. He's a great baby. And his neck, oh, look at that. Hi, baby. This is so cute, this little head movement. <laughs> well, there he is. Welcome, Eugene. And I'll Hi. say, I'll really say, because people are going to be like, Eugene, what? Okay, I'm just really inspired by the Bob's Burgers. Um, oh, show that's and Eugene, which I know both Stephanie and I like. He goes more by Gene, but his full name yeah. is Eugene. We love him, so <laughs> yeah, we could call him Gene. Gene for short. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby. Now he hey, needs black baby. hair. Then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with us. And we will be back tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Say bye, Jean. Bye, Jean.